Hey, I'm Lynn Richardson and I'm here to the rescue for all you parents who have your children at home with you and you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> You're trying to keep them educated, entertained, uh, alive, not just from the effects of the virus, but from hurting and harming each other. You're trying to keep them fed. Well, guess what? There was no time like now. This is the opportune time to start your home-based business. Why? I'm going to tell you 12,400 reasons why. When you hire your child to work in your sole proprietorship, your home-based business, not your corporation, not your C-Corp, not your S-Corp, not your general partnership, none of that stuff. This rule only applies to your home-based business. If you hire your child to work in your home-based business, the IRS says in publication 15, page 13, that you can pay each child up to $12,400 a year. That's now a tax write-off to you. That's a tax write-off to you that you're going to write off on Schedule C of your 1040 tax return. Now, the money that you pay them, it's tax-free to them. They don't pay any taxes on that money. And now you can take that money or they can take that money and pay for their own things. So you might be thinking, I don't have $12,400. Well, whatever you were going to pay for anyway, if you're paying for child care, if you're paying for ballet, if you're paying for football, if you're paying for piano, karate, uh, tuition, whatever it is that you're paying for, here's the difference between a tuition payment and a paycheck to your child, taxes. Here's the difference between paying for karate or paying your child, taxes. What about chores? Those chores can now be job responsibilities in the home-based business. Here's the difference between chores and job duties, taxes. If you call it a chore and give them an allowance, they don't get that money back. But if you call it a job duty and you actually hire them to work in your home-based business, for real, here's the deal, tell the truth. Don't fake it. Don't say you did it just so you can get the money back on your taxes. Uh-uh. Learn the rules of the game and then play the game by the rules. That's the deal right here. Everybody's trying to figure out how to increase their cash flow. You can increase your cash flow by literally going to get more money, right? Home-based businesses are thriving, so there's all kind of ways you can increase your cash flow that way. But the other way to increase your cash flow is to get your money back. Right. You got to get your money back. You got to learn the whole game, not just a piece of it. And everything, every distraction has been removed. So now is the time. There are no excuses. And I am here ready to serve you. So I have beefed up everything. There are home-based business webinars taking place this weekend. If you don't have a home-based business, you need to be in this webinar. If you already have a home-based business and you are not running your life like a business, you need to be in this webinar. So go to www.asklin.org. .org, okay? We got to listen and read and do all that. The people said I went to asklin.com and it's some psychic person. No, 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 no. Go to www dot asklin.org. Fill in the information. We'll get you everything you need. Uh, then you're going to enroll in your class. And guess what? We're going to take this thing to the next level. All hope isn't lost. If you can look up, you can get up. Hire those kids to work in your home-based business. Teach them something. Build a family financial vision of perfection. This is the time. This is the season. And I'm rooting for you. I'll see you on the other side. Meet Lynn Richardson, celebrity financial expert. You might have seen Lynn on the Steve Harvey Show or Good Morning America giving financial advice. For more than two decades of having leading roles in the banking and real estate sales industries, Lynn has helped so many clients face their money issues head on and help them achieve their personal, professional, and financial goals. I spend my life helping people understand this. More money doesn't solve a money problem. Hmm. If it did, millionaires wouldn't go bankrupt. Lynn is committed to using her financial expertise to benefit others. Over the last 20 years, she's created a curriculum of books and online classes that can help you at any level. She's helped thousands of clients get out of credit card debt. Lynn has also helped clients create home-based businesses and create multiple streams of income. Creating your financial dreams takes finding your purpose, then the money and the income streams will follow. For more information about Lynn Richardson and the curriculum that she has created, please visit lynnrichardson.com, where financial dreams meet focus to generate wealth. Now stay tuned for a sneak peek of Wealthy Wednesday on LynnRichardson.tv. You have the power, the opportunity, and the ability to create wealth. It, it just feels like all of the years that we've worked together, this year is the culmination of many plans coming to fruition. You understand what I mean, living check to Monday. 
That means you get paid on Friday, you kick it on the weekend, you pay on your past due bills, and by Monday, you're broke. Okay, so this is my favorite time of the year. I'm reading two of my favorite books, one by Sandy Bakken, my mentor who is the IRS attorney who used to train the IRS agents but left the IRS a long time ago and all he does is train self-employed people like you and I. And I'm also reading The Symphony, A Guide to Creating and Balancing Multiple Streams of Income because it's tax time. And one of the biggest myths that people have that are keeping them in bondage and keeping them broke is that if you don't have any children, then you don't have any tax write-offs. That is not the truth. Do you understand that the government loves business? It doesn't matter what kind of business you have. It could be as big as the biggest coffee business that you know in the world, or it could be as small as your hair braiding business in your basement of your house. All businesses are treated the same. So everybody should have a home-based business. Why? Because there are 475 tax deductions. Now, you've heard me talk about hiring your children in your home-based business. Yes, that's huge. Yes, I think if you've never heard it, it's an atrocity to humankind. I, I just think it's, if you have been going to somebody and they've been doing your taxes and they never ever told you, I just think it's a bad, bad thing because it's a huge deduction. It's $12,400 per child. So all those people who are paying $250 a week in child care, $500 a month in daycare or tuition or what have you, then that is an area. If you pay your child and let your child pay for their own expenses, then you get your money back. But there are 475 plus tax deductions. Your child working in your home-based business is only one. So that means there's at least 474 other tax deductions. And the one that I'm gonna talk about right, right now is the one that I love the most, or one of them, and it's eating. Okay, so when the tax code changed, uh, they kicked out entertainment. So you can no longer go get your bulls tickets and take all your business partners and prospects and referrals. I Yes, I'm still talking about the bulls. I love the bulls. I came up in the, during the time of Michael Jordan, Scottie Pippen, them, and everybody was mad at us because we kept repeating on everybody. Don't be mad at us. Don't hate the player, hate the game. But that's a whole nother point. My point is this. You can no longer write off entertainment, but you can still write off your meals. Now, so you go out to eat with who? You go out to eat with a client, or you go out to eat with someone who can give you referrals, a prospective client, right? You can go out and write that off. Now, my husband and I are in business together. When he and I go out to eat, just the two of us, we cannot write that off. So if you go out to eat with your spouse, you cannot write it off. You have to invite somebody else and they have to bring their significant other in order for you to be able to write off that meal. There's one exception, however. Let's say it's you and your significant other and you invite a business referral, client, prospective client, or what have you. If you and your significant other are going to do a project for that person, then you can write it off. So let me give you an example. I'm a real estate agent. My husband is a home inspector. We take someone out to eat. Let's say it's MC Light who was singing in the background. Woo! Yes. Uh-huh. Because I'm going to list her house and he's going to do a home inspection. She doesn't have to bring her significant other, guess what? We can still write the meal off because we are going to do a project for her. So that's how that works. So I'm reading all about uh, meals. Uh, do you know if your home office is your principal place of business? Your home office is your principal place of business. When you leave your house and go to the post office to mail stuff for your business, you go to the grocery store to buy stuff for your business. You go to wherever you go, then all of that is a tax right off to you. You just have to track your mileage. You have to know where you went, why you went, what the mileage was, what is the business reason. You have to track all of your mileage, whether you're going to deduct your mileage or you're going to deduct your expenses. You still have to track your mileage because you have to know what percentage of miles that you drove for the year were for business. I'll tell you about that on another time. So I'm also reading the symphony, a guide to creating and balancing multiple streams of income. Why is symphony? Because at the musical symphony, there are many different instruments. And when they play at the right time, they make one beautiful sound. Well, in your business symphony, I say you, you need increments. And increments are businesses that make money. And when you play one increment and then the next increment, what you have is multiple streams of income that make one big, beautiful bank account. All right. So I am reading about another area in my business that I can turn or another area of my skill set or gifts or passions that I can turn into an increment. So 
I am on this mission with you. I'm so excited. It's the best time of the year. As a matter of fact, the whole year is the best time of the year because as long as you have a home-based business, you can write off many things that you are going to pay for anyway. So if you don't have a business, get one. Come to my class this Saturday, how to start a home-based business. If you do have a home-based business and you're not writing off your things, then you need to learn how to get your money back. I'll talk to you next time. All right. Bye-bye. Share and subscribe.